So, at this stage of the painting, what's happened is the underground drawing has been completely covered with colour. Um, and the reason that I've done that is basically to build another map which is more acute than the underdrawing that has gone before. It's more acute in a couple of ways. One, there is far more detail in, in the coloured application in terms of now you can start to see perspective, you can start to see the, uh, the form of the, the subjects, you can start to see how light works. So that's really the purpose and I've covered it completely all in uh, in a first layer of colour rather than small bits and trying to complete small bits because you have to be able to understand the whole of what you're doing before you can actually focus on the smaller component parts and you have to get rid of the distractions and predominantly those distractions especially when it comes to trying to understand the colour is getting rid of any white um, so that's uh, one of the reasons why at this point I cover my canvases completely in colour Uh, how much of the painting uh, is yet to be completed uh, is an open-ended question at the moment. Although probably small scale, as it appears at the moment on camera, it looks kind of complete. You can see a certain level of detailing, um, but uh, it really is really nowhere near completion. I think it's probably between 5 and 10% completed, maybe not even that at the moment. So I think it will be within the next uh, 3 to 4 months that I can actually determine uh, a rough finish point. I hope it will be completed under uh, you know, the next 9 months or so. And one of the reasons I've I've decided to take on these larger canvases, and this should be the first of a number of large canvases, is I think one dynamic realism um, really, as an art form, deserves to be on a larger canvas because of the way texture works with uh, my painting technique. And when that's applied to a larger composition and a heightened level of drama and very interesting light, um, I think the, the works can be really quite um, astonishing. So I'm hoping that with dynamic realism what we're going to do is go out there and find these key cultural um, and historical as well as ecological aspects of people's histories and cultures because I think that that will really enrich an offering into the realist art world. Um, so we're that's really what we're aiming to do and I think that these large-scale canvases should cause a real impact.